break. Uh, it seemed a little long almost because uh, you get out of the routine and uh, I wrote about it last week uh, about the, that haze that you have on holidays. Uh, but we're back. We're back at it. My first run out here and uh, there's not a whole lot going on yet. Uh, this is definitely the calm before the storm. We've just been back a couple of days now, so we're just getting back into the swing of things, as it were. Uh, but at the end of this month, we have CMEA, the Colorado Music Educators Association Conference. That's down in Colorado Springs. And we got some really cool stuff that we're going to be talking about down there. So if you're going to that show, I uh, can't wait to see you. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're also presenting a clinic down there. Again, we're going to be having a lot more information about that uh, on string stuff in the classroom. Uh, Bob and Sarah, specifically Sarah, is going to be presenting. And Bob's going to be supporting, and that's in conjunction with CSU, so that's going to be super informative. Uh, there won't be enough time to get to everything because there never is, but it's going to be action packed. If you are a string teacher of any kind, you're not going to want to miss that. Um, but a really great conversation with a teacher today um, as the, uh, her band is getting ready to move on and, and they're planning in the, the spring uh, different events and all that and uh, learning new music. Well, they're going to be doing uh, Georgia on my mind. And I mentioned, like, oh, well, before you start rehearsing with them, you should be playing Ray Charles for them. And she told me something I did not know. That song is actually a cover. Ray Charles did not write it. That, he made it his own, absolutely. But it was originally a tune uh, by Mr. Hoagie Carl. Michael back in the 1930s and uh, find the, the YouTube video of it, the recording of it, it's it's awesome. It's not Ray Charles, but it is very, very good. And it, that just got me thinking of other songs that have become famous from someone other than who originally wrote it. And uh, a couple of them immediately come to mind. This is one of my favorite trivia questions is, uh, is things like that. And um, like Jimi Hendrix, All Along the Watchtower. That was not his song initially. Uh, what else we got? Um, let's see. Uh, obviously, the Bangles uh, did Hazy Shade of Winter, which was originally Simon and Garfunkel. And uh, one that had surprised me, I learned that one, this one fairly recently, uh, Girls Just Want to Have Fun was not Cindy Lauper's originally. It was uh, uh, some guy whose name escapes me. Yes, it was a man who did that one. And it was very loungy sounding, and uh, she did a much better version of it. So it, it always amazes me sometimes, artists, that for lack of a better term, misunderstand their work. I feel that way about uh, Easy Shade of Winter, the Bangles nailed, they understood it was a rock riff, and Simon and Garfunkel uh, being you know, a folk duo, uh, that wasn't their treatment of it. But it's just really cool how with music, it continues to evolve, even the same material, you know, everything uh, old is new again, and uh, different interpretations, different feelings of it, and different ways of looking at it. I mean, heck, um, the band Cake did, did a bunch of covers, including, you know, uh, Black Sabbath's War Pigs, which is very different, or uh, they also did uh, Glory Gainers' I Will Survive. So, it's just neat to see that, and this is why it's important also to know your music history, to have some perspective on these kinds of things, to understand, you know, what it is that you're listening to, why it is the way that it is, how it evolved. Uh, that's all part of being a performer. That's all part of being a student of music. And so I think that's a, a pretty important thing to keep in mind as you continue to evolve as a musician. So anyway, that's really what's going on right now. It's uh, preparations for what's to come. That is your view from the road. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you think. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll catch up with you next time. Thank you for riding along and seeing the view from the road. If you like this video, please share it with a friend, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Facebook, and you will never miss a new video. I'm Drew Holmes, owner of Boomer Music Company and educational representative for the Thompson School District in Loveland, Colorado. Thanks for watching.